Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Apologies for sounding kind of sniffly. I've been out here in the cold for a little bit, but today we're going to be talking about a concept, but the, the physical manifestation of that concept as well. And that's putting all your camping gear in one single bin that you can just grab and go. Now this is nothing new. I didn't invent this and nothing like that, but it is something that I've, I've done some videos about. I've talked about in the past and I kind of try to preach to people that are that are too busy to do something or they have an excuse to not go camping. And that's you you lower the barriers to go camping as much as you can. Now if you have a vehicle like mine, it's kind of all set up and ready to go and that makes it much easier. I have the iCamper Sky Camp Mini rooftop tent with sleeping bag pillow. So like all my bedding needs here. The truck is ready to go. I have another bin here with recovery gear. And then I have one bin with everything else. That's kind of like everything I need. So this is, I wouldn't even call this the extreme. And if you look at overlanding channels or whatever, they got campers and they got all kinds of crazy stuff. So this is like a more minimal setup, but you know, a, a, an attainable and achievable setup. This is why I like this truck. This is why it's my main truck because it's nothing outlandish, right? Like anyone could get some similar concept of this. Maybe not the exact thing, but you could you could get an older truck and equip it pretty much like this, and then you can go camping super, super easy and super, super fast. So, all that giant rambling intro to say, what I'm talking about is one bin, putting all your camping gear in one bin that you can either leave in the vehicle or leave on a shelf or whatever, and pull that bin out, chuck it in your truck, and go and you know you have pretty much everything that you need inside of that bin depending on you know what you want to bring camping obviously so i was kind of building out a new one and this if you look at my channel has taken a few different shapes through the years but pelican just announced or just released a new case actually pelican been uh, a supporter of the channel for for years now i love their products i love the company, they just released this case, well, a couple in the line, but this is an adventure case, the TX-80. And when it came out, I was like, you know, that would probably make the perfect camping bin. So I took my old camping bin, emptied stuff out. It was a good time for me to kind of go through everything, see what I wasn't really using, maybe think about some things that I would want to add to it. And I built this. So I'm going to walk through the bin. You can use this again as concepts. This isn't a super cheap case. It's probably the best case you can get. But if you want to start off with uh, a bin from a Home Depot or something like that, I always try to preach on the channel. Like I use a lot of good gear. I try to use the best gear I can. I do this professionally, I guess, or whatnot. But I don't want that to ever get in the way of the concepts that I'm trying to give you in a video. So conceptually, look at what I'm using and you can substitute a piece of gear for a less expensive key piece of gear if you don't have the budget for it right now or or whatever. But I'm gonna be showing you mine. That way you could build this exact kit if you wanted to. And I'll, as usual in the videos, leave links down in the video description below. So I went for the OD green. I believe this is available in three colors. I think probably black and tan and has easy two latches on the top. And then it just lifts up and then stays in place. Now I've made some modifications to the bin, if you can't see already, which I'll kind of get to. Very easy modifications though. And yeah, I just like green things, even my drank, which brings us to today's sponsor, AG1. AG1 sponsors a handful of videos here and there on my channel, a green drink just so happens to be my favorite color but they do foundational nutrition that kind of just tries to check all the boxes of health whole body mind aging gut immunity and just kind of everything in one little scoop here so it's really just super easy daily habit that i like to do and i've been using ag1 maybe for about a year now actually uh, I, I miss some days here and there, but I try to do it every day just because it's so easy. So no multivitamin pills, no horse pills, nothing like that. Just kind of everything that the body needs right in here. I'm on the go a lot. I'm not always eating super healthy uh, immunity. And now kind of I'm at the age now where I'm kind of thinking about 
longevity and my mind. And so in addition to like gut health and immune support and all that stuff, I'm thinking like, what can I do that's good for my brain, honestly? So that's another huge benefit of AG1, just packed with all the stuff, flavonoids and all that, you know, sciencey stuff that helps your brain function. So again, really easy. Handful of ounces of water, one scoop of the green stuff down the hatch. The other cool thing is they sell it in these little travel packs as well. So you can get it in your kind of daily use pouch. But if you want some to go on the road or to throw in your camping bin like that, then you can. I have a link, drinkag1.com slash L-L-O-D. They'll throw in some travel packs and then a year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2. So yeah, thanks again to AG1 for sponsoring this video and helping me age gracefully. So conceptually, this bin is not like a survival bin or like a everything that you need to keep in your truck bin. It's something that actually, actually you can take out of your truck, especially if it's an, a daily driver and still have kind of the preparedness items in your truck. Here on the channel, if you're new here, I talk a lot about preparedness, both like doom and gloom preparedness, not as much on that end, but kind of just general everyday preparedness in, in the sense of like, I believe your daily driver should be a prepared daily driver. You should have some medical stuff, you should have re some recovery stuff. You have basic preparedness stuff in your truck at all times. So that concept means that all that stuff is tucked away somewhere else in your truck or your car or SUV. And this is really just strictly for camping. Now, if you wanted to throw some medical gear in here, or if you wanted to combine it with like recovery stuff, you could, but again, that's not really my setup. So just take that into consideration. This is really just stuff that I need for camping. The other thing that it doesn't have in here is like any shelter, like there's no tarps or anything in here. There's no chairs in here. So that's another just conceptually separate. Uh, there's no, I don't keep a bundle of firewood in here or anything like that, though I do keep a lighter and maybe some little fire starting equipment in here. But it's not, it's not everything plus the kitchen sink. Uh, so yeah. Take that in consideration when you get in the comments, you're like, oh, you didn't put whatever. Yeah, probably intentionally. So I wanna keep this thing like relatively minimal. And I've kind of through decades at this point of camping, narrowed the stuff that I really like to use down to this. Hopefully you understand that my kit is constantly evolving and changing to a certain extent as my needs change, as my lifestyle changes, as new gear comes, or I try gear that I hadn't tried before, and I'm like, that's actually better than what I was using. So there's a lot of people that get sad that I change, like the channel kind of evolves through the, and I'm just like, man, if I was doing the same exact stuff and using the same exact gear that I was eight years ago, I could do it, but it wouldn't, I wouldn't be progressing. So this is kind of, I don't know, the current, current status here. So let's just, get into it. So this bin has the lid that kicks up and stays up with a hinge. It comes with two hinges. I found that you only really need one hinge in here and then you don't have to account for the tiny bit of space that it takes up on both sides. But with the lid up, I was like, well, there's kind of some unused space up here and they probably will eventually release like a molly panel kit like they do for a lot of cases. They, they might have one that fits this case already, uh, but I wanted to do something a little more simple. And so what I did here, these are Vertex pouches, just the small and the medium pouch. These are from the Taktagami line at Vertex. Again, I'll link to all this stuff down below. And then I just got some adhesive backed Velcro, the loop side, the soft side, which the rough side, the hook side attaches to. So I stuck a couple adhesive strips of Velcro on the lid, stuck these on here. So you can use that a very effective to use a variety of pouches. If you have some other loadout you think you want to do up here, if you want to do a more like Molly Alice centric, they probably have again, or I'll, I'll link it down below if something exists, but something probably will come out if it doesn't already. That's a Molly panel you can put up here, but this is a little even more streamlined and a little more simple than that. Here I put some shock cord on little screw in. These are actually just like 
wire organizer, screw in how you would attach exterior cat or cable run along your house. I just screwed those right into the plastic here and that's for my plates and then behind my plates I just have some regular kind of grocery bags that I use for trash bags. So kind of easy to access stuff in this pouch. I have just silverware, some like titanium or whatever silverware, but also just some disposable stuff that you grab from Chipotle. Uh, so I kind of have extras if somebody else didn't have any or if I don't feel like cleaning something. And then in here I actually have, I kind of forget what exactly I have, but I have some Ziploc bags, some fire starting equipment, some wet ones, some wet ones. Those are always good to have. Some duct tape and a couple lighters to go along with the fire starting equipment. Uh, that's because oftentimes I like to make fires, bonfires, campfires, whatever when I'm out camping. And it's always good to know that you got, I got lighters in the truck, but I probably have like six lighters total throughout the whole thing. So kind of easy to access stuff there. Then, I don't know, maybe we'll move this onto the ground so it's a little easier uh, for me to kind of walk you through here. So each case will come with this organizer that nests into this channel here. You can slide it one way or the other. I have stuff that's a little too tall on this side, so it's on this side. This is kind of nice. This is maybe an accessory. Technically, two of them could fit here. Uh, the case comes with one. Maybe you could buy a separate one sometime in the future. But this is just to give you an idea of the size. This is a standard roll of paper towels. I got some bear spray, uh, more trash bags, kind of your standard 13 gallon trash bags here, some snacks, some paracord. I'll probably keep a handful of lanterns and stuff, a fixed blade. This is the Lion Steel M4, my favorite fixed blade life, knife couple other uh, flashlights and junk. So just kind of like your, this is kind of stuff that I want easy access to like right when I'm setting up camp. Uh, bear spray, you know, I always carry a gun, but I would rather bear spray a bear in certain conditions than shooting them. Uh, so quick access stuff that I just kind of keep on top in this little guy. Then down below, we'll get into some of this stuff in a little more depth, but I have a few more lanterns down here. There's actually quite a bit of space back in this area where I am probably gonna add a couple more things, like a little camping trowel for doing a little, doing a little poop hole if I need to. I have a couple lanterns here. Uh, this is one of the Empowered Lucy string lights. I see there's, I bought a couple actually. I'd, I haven't received them yet. Uh, I was shopping for maybe another one of these, and there's a bunch of a bunch of options in this kind of self, this is a self-contained string light. Basically pull it out and try it has solar charging or USB. Uh, I really like this, but there's some new ones out on the market that look kind of better that I ordered. And then down here, like I said earlier, I'll probably put a trowel and then I'll probably put a small folding saw in as well. I did throw a little hatchet, little Fiskars X7 in here as well. This is kind of my my poop kit, uh, so it has some biodegradable toilet paper and then some biodegradable uh, wet wipes, essentially. And then I got one small uh, propane tank. I actually bought the adapter that allows you to just refill these at home, so that way you're just not chucking them every time. So I refill these off of bigger propane tanks that I have at home, and then actually on my Tacoma, I have a propane tank, uh, 10 or 11 pounder, that's always on the truck. So this is just kind of like a backup or if I'm in a vehicle that doesn't have dedicated propane and I forgot to bring a propane or whatever, this is for use for uh, a couple different stoves that I have in here. And then I keep some food in here at all time. Peak, you've probably heard me talk about them if you've watched the last handful of Weekender Landers, but uh, I say it, everyone says it, Peak meals are so, so good. So uh, I'll eat peak a lot of times when I'm out or you know, uh, other types of backpacking freeze dried food when I'm out by myself because I just like quick and easy. I don't like dirtying a bunch of pans and these are so, so delicious. They leave you very filled so you sleep well. Uh, the cobbler is an amazing dessert. Anyway, so I'll keep a handful of these in here just as backups or a lot of times they just turn into primary meals. But if you're out camping and something you forgot 
your main dish and you're like, oh crap, I left that on the counter or whatever. You're never really stranded because if you have water, you can make these with everything else you have in the bin. I don't keep water in here, so water is a separate thing because uh, a lot of times this bin's out where it freezes and the water would be frozen anyway, so that wouldn't work very well for me. Uh, the only other thing I have loose in here is a little, uh, little mini kind of fire extinguisher. Now I keep fire extinguishers in all the rigs as well. So again, this is kind of a backup bonus. And then everything else is in one of two bags here that I can just grab out of here, pull out. This is the Jetboil Genesis stove system. Now this is probably warrants its own dedicated review. It's an ultra compact, really lightweight setup. What you have in here is a big pot, you have a pan, you have a lid, you have a wind protector, you have a two burner stove that has a ton of heat adjustment as well in it. I'll just kind of show you real quick what's in here. This is the gas regulator. I also keep a cheapy mini stove in here that I also have a one pound propane adapter on. This is when I just wanna make water. This plus a kettle is just super easy and I don't even have to get the rest of the kit out. But if I'm actually cooking, then I'll use this. There's the pan I was talking about, the lid I was talking about. And then this guy is the two burner stove. So you just take off this strap, this strap, and then it opens right up, sets down, and you can actually even add one more uh, jet coil attachment to here. I don't have that attachment. I never really uh, have used one, but you can essentially get kind of three cookers out of that. I do keep one of these GSI scrapers. It just makes scraping out the pots and pans super easy. Just at the bottom of that, and it nests into this big pot, and then there's the windscreen. So that, plus the regulator, plus the other kind of mini stove, all fits into this little carrying case. And I just like it because it has it really everything I would realistically need. You know, like a Scottle or the iCamper Disco. Those are great, and I like to use those from time to time if I'm like gonna cook a specific meal. But just general use stuff, this little Jetboil Genesis is, it is hard to beat. Now at face value, the price of it is like, I don't know, kind of high, but really middle of the road for adventure-based stoves. And it comes with the, the pot and the pan and just a really compact setup. So that's why I like it, uh, and that's that. And then the other thing I have in here is actually some Vertex uh, VTX stackable cases. They just fit perfectly in this case, and I have basically two of them. So I've talked about this system before. It's a line from Vertex that has miscellaneous size, kind of stackable cube type fabric compressible storage containers, uh, really catered to vehicular use. So whether you're using one for a med kit and one for whatever, you can kind of configure them however you want. And so I'm stacking, I forget which sizes these are called, but a bigger one here and a smaller one up top. And then up top is just kind of a miscellaneous pack where I have some like cooking type knives, some Tabasco, some Dr. Bronner's, the multi-spice that I love, a little sponge, uh, tongs, and <laughs> having a brain fart, the little flippy guy, uh, spatula there. And there's actually plenty of room in there to add some more stuff. So as time goes, maybe I'll be like, oh, I really should add something else there. This is removable from the other one, but it also kind of tucks in there and stays in place. So the idea is I can kind of have two separate containers and it just acts as one, so to speak. So here I have my GSI kettle, it's the big one. And then I have a couple of nesting like titanium mugs in here, a bigger mug and a smaller mug. Uh, so that's kind of nice. These act as cups, obviously, or I could boil water or whatever in these. And there's another mug nested inside of there and that all nests inside of the kettle. So when I'm just heating up water, this is basically the system 
that I'll almost always use. I don't have any coffee in here right now, but I usually grind some fresh coffee and bring it out if I want to have coffee that trip. Drive coffee, best stuff in the world. But this is a little, I think it's a GSI. I'm pretty sure it's a GSI uh, just drip coffee maker, no filters, just has like that stainless steel insert with the really small holes. So I don't have to worry about running out of filters or bringing filters. It's pretty slow system, but that's fine. If I'm drinking coffee, I'm usually not in a hurry. I have a collapsible dog bowl in here, another regular dog bowl, uh, a regular kind of human bowl, and then a pack of just various drink mixes, primarily different kinds of hot chocolate and whatnot in here. So yeah, all of that fits effortlessly in the, the TX80 here. Some other things that I like about this case, again, just two easy latches on the front. It does have a rubber seal around the whole thing as well. Latches are lockable. It's nice because this size, you could actually just put a lock on one and nobody's gonna get in there, but if you wanna lock it on one or the other or both, you can and then has integration points for tying it down. Pelican sells their own specific mounts for mounting in a variety of applications, but you could put a hook, a bungee, a tie down strap, whatever, into here, carrying handles here, obviously, and just a super durable, rugged, works great as a bench or a step at camp as well. And this one here specifically, I wanted easy tie down points for another application, actually my Lexus LX570 that I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be mounting it like this on a rear swing out to where I'll be able to access all the stuff while keeping it tied down still without having to like run straps over the top or anything like that you'd have to do with, a, with another container. So yeah, the new Pelican Adventure Case TX80 adapted for use specifically for me for uh, camping adventures. Here it is under the Diamondback HD on a Tacoma. So it'll have plenty of clearance, uh, pretty much, you know, this is one of the smaller beds you can get. I don't know about a Maverick, but I got a couple inches here, actually probably three inches of space or so up there. So it'd probably even fit under the tonneau cover of a Ford Maverick or something like that as well. So plenty of room, plenty of clearance. And actually I like things that are taking up a little more vertical height so that I can kind of utilize the bed space a little more effectively. Sometimes people ask, how do I get to stuff on the Diamondback when I have a tent on top and I can't access? I'll usually tie a string or put a bungee or something onto this. So that way if I need to shove this all the way back into the bed, I can use my string or whatever to pull the case back out like that. So that's kind of my setup and makes camping super, super easy. I think that's about it for this video. Let me know if you, if you think I'm missing anything, anything to add to that bin. But the whole, the whole bin thing, I, for myself and I've heard from a lot of other people, is kind of a, you know, I don't like the word game changer again, but kind of a game changer in the camping game when you're just trying to get out on a quick, quick overnighter. Again, I talked about this quite a bit in the, the beginning of the video, but the fewer barriers that you can put between yourself, the, the fewer excuses you can, oh, I don't have it packed up. Oh, it's gonna take an extra 30 minutes to get all this stuff for it. The fewer of those that you have, the higher likelihood you will have of actually getting out there and adventuring. So it's not so much that this stuff is really important to focus on, it's just this is a tool in a sense to allow it to be easier to get yourself out there. So that's why I love rooftop tents. That's why I like on the dedicated adventure rig, kind of the propane tank, the, the various ways for things. Again, once you get into a daily driver, some of those things change a little bit. But for me, just packing up and going, knowing that I can get ready to go in, in five minutes instead of 30 minutes, is a huge win. The only other things you would need to add here are if you wanted to cook any particular type of food, but a lot of times for me, I'll just hit a grocery store on the way out and I'll just get everything I need there. 
Uh, and then water. Water's the only thing that's kind of missing from this, but other than that, you build out this bin and, and you'll have yourself a sweet little camping bin that's ready to go. Cool. All right, guys. Well, appreciate you watching the video. And until next time, take care.